Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Black Lions from David Blaine. Uh, these are the new Black Lions uh, since uh, these initial release uh, back in around Christmas time of last year. Uh, David has released two additional colors. So there is now red Black Lions and blue. Black lines. Uh, these uh, cards were designed by Mark Stutzman. Uh, of course, you know Mark has done a lot of the graphic design for David Blaine, and he's probably most famously known for doing the Elvis stamp. This deck is being printed by the United States Playing Card Company, and it's a really cool addition to the Blaine uh, line of decks. The Tuck Ace is uh, all done in a matte black with a gloss black uh, emboss. It also has silver foil stamping all throughout. Um, there's some cool little features on the tuck case. I'll look at a couple of them right now. Um, the first of which is the front of the tuck case is the back design of the cards, which is a little opposite uh, for most decks of cards. The back side of the tuck case is what you would think would be the front in that there's like an embossed image of a lion there. You can see that. It's done with kind of like the matte and the gloss uh, back to back so that it makes the image. And then it says black lines here across the bottom. There's a couple of cool little hidden things inside of the tuck case. There's an eight of diamonds reveal underneath the tuck stamp right here. If you peel it back, there's a little eight of diamonds reveal. Uh, in the main of the lion, uh, over on the side, right here by his mouth, there's a five and a heart. So it's a five of hearts reveal there as well. Um, here on the tuck flap, there's a lion that you can see walking in one direction. But then if you look closely within his legs, there's also the shadow or the negative outline of a little baby lion. So that's kind of cool. This side of the tuck case has a like a griffin feature and it says that they are designed by David Blaine and Mark Stutzman. The other side says that they were printed from the United States Playing Card Company. And the bottom has some ad copy about David Blaine and New York City. It says black lines across the top and it has an original tuck seal. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the United States Playing Card Company and they are done on a casino grade B stock. They also have a traditional cut and they do have air cushion finish. And if you'd like to learn more about stock cut or finish, you can click the link below in the description. The back design of the Blaine Black Lions, similar to a couple of other Lion or David Blaine decks in that it is the David Blaine logo repeated uh, in a casino style uh, going from corner to corner. It does also have a white border, which is similar to a poker card. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. Um, also, a thing to note about this back design is that they are reader backs. Uh, they do pretty much follow the same suit uh, that uh, David Blaine has used in the past for his reader decks. And if you'd like to learn how to read uh, the backs of these cards, you can pretty much find that information with a very simple Google search. The other thing to note about these cards is that they don't come in new deck order. They actually come in a Mamonica stack. Uh, Mamonica is a deck stack used by magicians. It was invented by Juan Tamari. Of course, the purpose behind that is that you can open a sealed deck of cards and give it a false shuffle and then retain it in the mnemonic stack. And if you have that stack memorized, you'll pretty much know the location of any card and be able to go into some of your very favorite magic routines. With this deck, you're gonna get two very original, very odd looking jokers. Uh, it is a lion in a dress holding a eagle or some sort of bird, uh, standing on top of a chessboard with a pawn chess piece near its feet. The other thing to note is that one of these jokers has a card force in the eagle's mouth. Another one of the extra cards in this deck is a card that has a lion's face on it. Or is it David Blaine's face? Whoa. Huh? Whoa. Whoa. Hi, I'm David Blaine. I'm a magic man. I can do tricks. Another one of the cards is a card that has a picture of a bird on it. Uh, or it's a raven, actually, I think. Um, but it's segmented in corners so that if you tore it up, like I did, uh, you could put it back and, and make the shape, but then the sh shape wouldn't be the same as the card started out as. It looks like it would be a really cool torn and restored trick. I'm looking forward to maybe seeing David do this in one of his specials, but as for now, uh, you have a funny torn and restored Raven card in your deck. The pips and indice cards in this deck are all completely standard. They are the colors and uh, pip placement that you're all familiar with and they will be easily recognizable to anyone. 
Of course, the courts in David Blaine's deck are all custom. Uh, these are all friends of David Blaine's. They're all familiars to him. A lot of these faces have been seen in previous decks, and there are a couple of new faces as well. Well, that is pretty much it for the David Blaine Black Lions. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, and instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. Thanks. Bye.